just woke up, man. Just woke up. My wife is downstairs. Hey, that's me. And I'm going to go meet her at a cafe. I'm a bit tired because I was working till 3 a.m. last night, but I'm going to cheer up. I'm going to cheer up. I lost my sunglasses, man. I don't know. I can't find them. I hate walking outside without my sunglasses. All these people looking me in the eye, making me nervous. Found the girl in a nice cafe. Okay. Pause this video right now. Take a look at this menu and tell me you're not coming to Kosovo. Is this the cheapest country we've been to? Yeah, I mean, Turkey used to be cheaper, but it's not now, so. Apple strudel, it's so brutal. God, God, it's so good. It's so brutally good and brutally cheap. Quick change, walked inside. Walking the streets of Pristina, thought I lost my debit cards. I was about to turn that place to Afghanistan. Let's go see though. Let's see what's else in the city. Then where am I? Where am I? Gotta go to the pharmacy because my allergies are kicking my ass. I got this spray for seven euros. About to get my nose right. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Uh. Oh, oh God, I could taste it in the back of my mouth. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh shit. Whoa, this is worse than Coke. Oh, oh I feel like I ate it. Oh. Gotta throw it in the trash can. Yo, I think somebody did some scotastic terrorism here because I know English, but that does not say newborn. What happened? Hey. Walking by the National Stadium. Wish I could run in here. Really big place. Can't pronounce that. The Kosovo Pristina Observatory, where they try to find large celestial bodies in the universe. Like your mama, I have not seen one Kosovo flag that is not tattered. I wonder how my black ass would look in these traditional clothes. I know how it would be. Fly. So it's not for sale anymore? Came back to sit at a cafe, European style. Order and then wait for a year to get your coffee. Finally got it. Something cold, something caffeinated, something refreshing. We're at this very nice bookstore here in Pristina and my wife picked up this book called The Husband. So I'm gonna do some reading for you all and see if it's actually true about what they say about us men. <clears throat> the Husband, written by nobody knows who. It's a ladybird book. The Husband, how it works. The, this is a husband. He may look complicated, but he is, in fact, very simple. He runs on sausages and beer. Scratch the beer. I run on wine. The husband knows many things. For example, he knows how many stairs there are in case he arrives home unable to see them properly. Oh, so we're all alcoholics. The husband likes to do simple repairs, like changing the washer on the tap. Afterwards, he likes to talk at great length about what a struggle it was and will want to be treated as if he has invented a machine that turns farts into gold. My farts are gold. Ask my wife, she knows. <laughs> the husband has a very big memory. He can remember football scores, all his old card number plates, and most of the film, Whit, Nall, and I, but he cannot remember what his wife asked him to bring back from the shops. This is because his brain is full up, not because he was listening. Kind of accurate. Wow. What did you say? Interesting book. I'm trying to find some good fiction to read. And I generally have a, a good time reading man booker books, you know. But I'm debating whether to win the prize winner for 2017 or a shortlist candidate for 2015. The only reason today I'm going to pick up Paul Oster's 4321 is because it's a smaller book, as in it's more compact and I can pack it with me and travel with it. And I flip through it and it's a bit more readable. So I'm probably going to pick up this. I'll review it after I read it in maybe, let's say, a month or so. But reading is fundamental, guys. Try to read at least one book a year, maybe more. Also picking up some erotic fiction for my baby. The day is not done. 
nor has it begun until Simon has gone for a run. I'm not a character of myself. It's really my life. It's really all I do. I think what I'm gonna do today instead of going to the park is run outside, up and down the street, in the city, just run through the city. City run, yeah. Big black boy stomping through your streets. What you gonna do? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Just finished that one hour, running through the city. I ain't pour water on me, baby, nah, nah. That ain't water, that's sweat. That's hard work, that's equity, yeah, yeah. I ain't planning to stop here in front of the library. Man, it, the clock just stopped right here. What's that saying? That's God saying that one day they're gonna write a book about me. You're gonna have to check it out from there. Yeah, shit, man, running all through the city, running all through the city, running all through Kosovo, beautiful Kosovo people, man. I heard some people were racist out here. Well, y'all saw that big black man run through the city and y'all ain't do nothing. That's right, man. We outside with it, gang gang. Yeah. Got a private restaurant for me and my baby. Just me and her. I bought out the whole restaurant. It's just us. Yeah, the owner even taking care of us. And see how I do it? See how big talk? Yeah, ain't that right, boo? Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. I take care. I take care of the queen. Take care of the queen. That's right. Yeah, take care you deserve of the queen. Something else I know, right? Ain't that right? I deserve a PlayStation 5. No. I'm really liking Kosovo. I'm really liking Kosovo. It's really cool. Kosovo. I ate at this great restaurant with uh, the owner. His name is Trem. It is great food. Can you tell us the name of your restaurant? It's called Taverna Nora. It's in the center of Pristina. Uh, you will find it everywhere in Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. So you have the lo a location there. It, it was very nice to meet you. It was very nice to meet you too. The food was great. He was a great host. Thank you, thank thank you, you so much, much. Thank you Come much. eat here. You have to come here to this place. This place right here. You got to eat here and say hi to Tarim.